Hey everyone, I'm Becca and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit your videos from anywhere online using the free editing software Veed. Veed makes editing your projects really simple and easy and I'm going to show you the basics of it today. You can find Veed by typing in V-E-E-D into your search engine or you can hit the link in the description. Once you have signed up and logged into Veed, you'll be prompted to begin a new project. Hit the upload a file button and search for the video clips that you wish to use. Veed will then automatically import your footage. This could take a couple of seconds to a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed. To begin editing, you can hit the play button to see where you want to make your first edit. Hello everyone, I'm Becca and... So you can see there that there is a pause that I want to get rid of. To do that, there are a couple of ways we can edit this out. First, make sure your video is selected in the timeline. And one way of editing your clip is by dragging the clip to where you want your edit to be made. And you can see that Veed has gotten rid of the first section. I can then drag this along the timeline and back to the beginning. I can now hit play and see how that looks. Hello everyone, I'm Becca and I'm using this video as an example to show you how... You can see that there is another error in the way I talk, so I want to cut that out as well. I'm going to show you another way that you can do this. Another way to edit your clip is to click on it and then hit the split button. Veed will then automatically cut where your playhead button is and then I can go ahead and press the back button and that will delete the front clip. Again, I can then just drag this along the timeline and make sure it's at the beginning at zero, zero. This is where I want my video clip to end. So I can go ahead and scroll down the edit video window and hit the stopwatch button. Veed will then automatically make the cut to where your playhead button is. If I want to adjust the audio levels of the video, I can select the video in the timeline, which will automatically open up the edit video window. And then I can just drag the button to whichever percentage I would like it. Veed also comes with many different options you can use to make your videos more interesting. If I wanted to add subtitles to make my video more accessible to people, I can head over to the subtitles tab on the sidebar and select auto transcribe. Veed will then automatically add subtitles to my video. If I wanted to add a text heading, I can hit the text button option in the sidebar and then I can select one of the several options from the text window. I can also add elements on top of my video to make them more visually interesting. I can select emojis, add shapes, and even add sound waves. All of these elements can be easily adjusted by dragging and dropping them to the area you want, and all of them can be resized by dragging the buttons in the corners. I can also adjust the timings of when these elements are added to the video by selecting on the element in the timeline, dragging it to the place where I want it. And also I can adjust the times by dragging out the buttons at the end as well. I can also add filters to my video and effects. Hello everyone, I'm Becca and I'm using this video as an example to show you how to edit your videos. When you are finished editing your video and you are happy with it, hit the export button in the top right corner. You can then use the drop down menu to select what standard of quality you wish to export in. And if you have added subtitles, make sure the burn subtitles tab is highlighted. And then when you're ready, hit export video. Veed will then automatically render your video. This could take a few seconds to a few minutes depending on your Wi-Fi speed. Once your video has rendered, you can hit the play button one last time just to make sure you are happy with it. And if there is anything you want to re-edit, go ahead and click the edit video button and this will take you back into the Veed editing studio. If you are happy with your finished video, however, go ahead and hit the download MP4 button and this will be saved directly to your computer. And that's how easy it is to edit a video using Veed. If you want more detailed videos of some of the things I briefly mentioned in this video, such as adding texts, adding subtitles and adding elements, then I shall leave some detailed videos for you in the description below. Don't forget, you can sign up to Veed for free today with the link in the description. And for more easy to follow editing tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.